Hello, this is video three of my Invisalign documentary. I'm currently still awaiting the aligners and uh, I tell you it's not really a fun experience. When going into this I've watched countless videos and read countless blogs where people are saying it takes anywhere from three to four weeks if not even longer depending on um, how long it really takes Invisalign to get their stuff together and actually manufacture the trays and you know send them to the orthodontist and you have to make your appointment to uh, get it all fitted and make sure everything's great with it if they have to add attachments they do it then um, last I heard I'm gonna end up with attachments but here's a status update I no longer have cavities which is great um, it turned out to be one two three four five six so a total of six cavities I had and as I said um, I wasn't exactly taking care of my teeth the way I should have and uh, this is uh, an issue that stemmed far beyond even my high school days um, I just never cared um, lately I do and I took care of them so now this video as you can see in the title and also behind me is Invisalign caring or cleaning tips yeah um, I'm going to basically just show my arsenal of uh, equipment that I'm going to be using to keep my teeth tip-top shape when I have the trays. One of the things they have mentioned is that if you don't take care of your teeth with the trays on, it's actually worse than not having trays on at all. Um, because food and stuff gets trapped in between the trays. And also, saliva doesn't really build up enough on the trays. And saliva actually uh, dissolves foods and stuff like that and helps somewhat keep your mouth cleaner. So, I'm going to show you guys what I use. Now, after I decided to go to the dentist and invest a lot of money in a dentist, I invested in a brand new toothbrush. Now, um, I had to get the best. And, well, almost exactly the best. But this is actually the Sonicare, which you can clearly see here. It's a very sexy toothbrush. I don't know, but I think it's the coolest thing because you push this button, and as you can clearly see there, it, it like gives you different options. And when you turn on the toothbrush, it shows what option you picked. Um, and it does like massage and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, the heads, they change them. I used to have the old Sonicare that you had to twist this friggin' thing. This, you just pull it right off. And that's really all there is to it. Now, what I like about this particular one, this is the uh, Flex Care Plus, I believe, is it comes with this. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, what it ends up doing is your charging base so you just dock it right up on there um, and it charges your toothbrush but it also comes with a cleaning compartment where you can put your toothbrush on and it will use ultraviolet light to disinfect your your toothbrush um, I use it every single time after I brush I brush twice a day I use the I put the tip in there and it cleans it it comes with two different tips one that's a smaller tip than the other um, I haven't really used this one, I just used the big guy. But um, yeah, it's a great toothbrush, expensive. I paid 180 bucks for this. I know I could have gotten it cheaper online, but I needed to have it right after the cleaning. So uh, Target doesn't really have good prices. So that's what it is. Uh, this is what the box looks like. I know I still have the box, <laughs> but it's the uh, Flex Care Plus, and yeah, it's pretty cool uh, and expensive, but. I really do feel like my mouth is perfectly clean after using it. Now with the toothbrush I use, let me just put that there, I use uh, Crest 3D White, this is the uh, the good stuff, uh, enamel renewal, strengthens and rebuilds weakened enamel, removes up to 90% of surface stains in 7 days, I don't know but I've noticed ever since I've been using the uh, Pro White toothpaste, a lot of people have been giving me compliments that my teeth look very white to them. Um, I really don't see a difference. <laughs> I, I brush every single day with this stuff, but I really don't see a difference. Uh, but I would recommend it, I guess, because uh, it seems to be doing well. It doesn't taste bad, and that's, that's one thing I hate about a lot of toothpaste is that some of them are too strong, like they just have too minty and stuff. Uh, so we'll put that away there. Now it comes time to floss. So what do we do to floss? I think flossing is the most ridiculous fucking thing to do. I really hate doing it. So I bought this thing. Now, this is the Air Floss. Um, it has some very mixed reviews. Some people say it works great for them, and some people say it breaks. It has a two and a half year warranty on it, so if it breaks, I'll just get it repa repaired. Um, but let me tell you one thing. My dog fucking flips out with this thing. 
And if you turn it on, it does this. When, you, when you, you have the thing on, right, you fill it up with a little bit of water in this little compartment on the bottom, and you put it in between each tooth, and you just push it. So you just do like this, and you, you just, you know, do that. And when it sprays, and I'm going to show you how it sprays. <laughs> um, it, it, it's this water air mixture and it just ex like shoots through the tip and it explodes and you can you can get different tips and stuff for it but my dog goes at bat shit and cr uh, insane with this thing um, for some reason he thinks it's like attacking me or something so I'm putting in between I'm going hitting it up he runs up the stairs I have the door close to the bathroom and he just starts scratching at the door whining like just going oh my god what the fuck you know um, it, it's pretty funny but I tell you the first time I use this the, like it's insane like I couldn't believe that this thing would actually work um, it's 80 bucks and um, it really does like it, you it the it's just one button press in between each tooth you can floss with this thing in literally under a minute, you're done. Um, and it's great for, like, because flossing, I just think it's stupid. Yeah, they have those little, like, sticks you can just stick in between, but this thing gets the job done ASAP. So I highly recommend this thing. It's really cool. Uses the same charging base, and you don't have to really replace the tips. They tell you you should because of hygienic, you know, reasons. Just soak the thing in scorching hot water, you're done. It's clean. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, Sonic Care. Um, air floss now to wrap everything all up the final thing i use is this shit this is good stuff listerine total care zero i hate the burn of the regular alcohol induced stuff so i use this stuff um it supposedly does more stuff to help you know restore enamel make it stronger kill bad breath germs and all that stuff as i said i i just after getting so many cavities it's more of like you're I guess what kicks into my mind is I, I want to make sure I reduce that to a bare minimum that, you know, I, I would rather not get another cavity for the rest of my life um, because it's not fun. I mean, over the course of getting all these teeth done, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, needles. I've had seven needles in my mouth in the past three weeks and I'm not a big fan of needles. I really hate them. I just... I don't like it and I'm not really sure anyone out there likes needles but you know to get your teeth drilled you're gonna need needles so it's not fun so if I can do you know anything to prevent that from happening again so be it now what I am planning on doing is for my aligners to keep them clean is I plan on soaking them in this or actually I'll just get the alcohol one and uh, just soak the trays in there, you know, reuse the, the cleaning a bit because there's no reason to waste a whole bottle every week just soaking your trays in it. Um, I think, you know, use it for a few days, soak your teeth in it for like, I mean, not your teeth, uh, now I'm sounding like an old man. Um, soak your aligners in there for about 15 or so minutes while you're eating or whatever um, and you'll be good. There is a, a thing called Efferdent. Um, my, uh, my father has false teeth in the front. Uh, and he uses Efferdent. They just came out with a recent one that takes literally three minutes. Done. It cleans your your uh, your liners, dentures, and everything. And uh, they recommend it for retainers and stuff. So I'm gonna try that too. I'll, I'll definitely make an update video explaining. Look, you know, here's the shit that works better. Here's the stuff that doesn't. Um, it's it's definitely gonna be a fun fun adventure. Um, as you can see, I've invested a lot of money into my teeth. I mean, I'm, I've I, I it's one of those things where. I will beat myself up if I don't stick to it at this point because of the investment. It's so much money. I'd rather spend that money on computers, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely looking forward to a perfectly straight teeth, you know. Um, I've never had it, and as I said, you know, my teeth are all like jacked up and shit, like, you know, <laughs> uh, as, my, as my friend would say, he's like, that shit's janked. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's all fucked up. So, yeah, that's my update video. Um, I know I probably said I'll make a video when I get my aligners, but it's, it's taken a while. I, I would say it's been a week and a half. So I still have a little bit longer to wait until I get these aligners. I, I just hope, you know, it's just three weeks done, you know, I'll get them. Um, but they're saying about the middle of August I'll have them. And, yeah, I'm look, I really am looking forward to it. Um, if you guys have had Invisalign and you have any recommendations or advice, please post a comment below. If you're looking into Invisalign, uh, definitely post your comments below. You know, explain, you know, say, hey, look, you know, I've been looking into it. You know, you have a question about 
the stuff I've encountered so far. Um, definitely uh, good stuff. I will also post a link below to bracesreview.com. I started writing blogs there, and um, I, I guess I'll update that more. But uh, it's a great community of people that also are getting Invisalign or braces and stuff, and they share messages between each other, you know, give each other uh, encouragement. My video camera died at this point, but just to sum up what I said afterwards, bracesreview.com is actually a very good site. I highly recommend all my subscribers who give a crap about teeth, <laughs> check it out. I will be posting regular blog posts to the site to talk about, you know, my current status, show photos of my teeth, you know, before and after uh, a particular tray is done. And uh, yeah, basically writing about my entire experience. Things that maybe you can't talk about in a video, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, a link will be posted below for my blog. You know, definitely check it out if you have not yet already. So yeah, take care guys. Look out for future content.